Ukrainian Mihailo Mudrik has taken the football media by storm after the Leipzig vs Shakhtar match in the Champions League. Who is this incredibly talented guy? What are his strongest qualities and why he is able to reach the top of world football? We'll tell you in this video. Let's go! Mihailo was born in 2001 in a small town of Krasnograd in the Kharkiv region. He began his football career at the Academy of Metalist Kharkiv. In 2016, he joined the Academy of one of the giants of Ukrainian football, Shakhtar Donetsk. Mihailo received his first portion of popularity not because of his success on the football pitch, but thanks to videos on social media where he demonstrated his technique. The biggest football social media accounts posted these videos more than once, including Instagram account 433, which currently has more than 50 million followers. Back then, the kid was already talked about as an incredibly talented and promising football player in his native Ukraine. Pace, technique, dribbling – all these were the young player's strength. However, there were also reasonable fears that Mihailo would be led astray by his early popularity, as there are so many examples of players getting lost as they transitioned from youth to senior football. The best example is Hakim Mastor, who signed a contract with Milan at the age of 16 and was called the next Ronaldinho or Neymar by many. And now, at just 24 years old, he plays for a club in the Moroccan League 2nd Division. Fortunately, it seems that Mudrik shouldn't worry about that, and primarily this is due to the player himself. All the coaches and partners who worked with him unanimously say that the guy is maximally focused on football, comes to training first, and stays to practice after. I have only one dream that surpasses all others – to become a great football player. I want to win the Ballon d'Or and enjoy football," Mudrik said several years ago. As you can see, the guy has the right mentality and all the prerequisites to grow into a big player from the start. According to Mihailo, faith in God helps him a lot. I started reading the Bible at the age of 9, and after that, I began to believe in God and develop my knowledge. I became very interested. Some perceive it as a show-off, a public facade, but they don't know how I feel about God, why I keep talking about Him. What catches the eye is that the guy already speaks like an adult, and at the time of these interviews, he was 18 or 19 years old, and that's a good sign. After a few loans, Mihailo became a Shakhtar Donetsk lineup player last season. The then team coach Roberto De Zerbi believed in Mudrik, but let him play in the starting lineup very slowly. More often, he came on as a substitute that got into the starting 11. This way, especially true of the Champions League matches. However, Mihailo had two goals and provided seven assists in 11 matches in the first half of the Ukrainian Premier League season, which is pretty good. Much has changed when in February 2022 Russia unleashed a full-scale invasion against Ukraine. Of course, when the country's survival was at stake, football had to be forgotten for a while. Mudrik, by the way, showed an active civic position and devoted some time to helping his country, doing volunteer work. The war factor affected Shakhtar as well. The fact is that for many years there was a clear division at the Donetsk club. Brazilians and other foreigners played an attack, while Ukrainians played in defense. This brought results, so it was hard for Ukrainian attacking players to get into the squad. Willem, Douglas, Costa, Henrik, Khatoryan, Fernandinho, Fred – all these guys moved to European top clubs from Shakhtar. But because of the war, the club lost almost all foreign players who had the right to unilaterally leave the team. In a way, this helped Mudrik get more playing time and become a more important player. And now, he's the Shakhtar's main asset. Yes, it's worth noting that Mudrik's main position is left winger, where he played most of the matches in his career. He is right-handed and is a classic modern winger. Mudrik is very easy to identify on the pitch. But it's not because of his hairstyle or the color of his boots, but because of the style of the play, which is difficult to confuse with someone else's. This is the guy who doesn't look for easy solutions. He dribbles and constantly creates threats. The main quality that distinguishes him on the pitch is explosive work. The winger can develop decent speed from the start and change direction just as quickly. Players with this quality are simply irreplaceable in positional attacking. It's important to have a performer who is able to force an opponent to leave positions and expose the zones. Mudrik is just the player. 
Mudrick almost always goes to an opponent himself and doesn't wait for rapprochement. This gives him much more control over the situation and allows him to create free space. Using the example of the game for the national youth team of Ukraine against Sweden, we'll show you how Mudrick makes decisions. The players of the Sweden national team takes the ball unsuccessfully. Mudrik comes out to intercept it. He has three options – cover the ball with his body and get a foul, go back and pass his teammates, or try to create a threat. He chooses the third and most difficult option. He immediately gets into a situation where he can either pass to a partner or go to the wing, or try to break through the center. Again, he chooses a risky third option and as a result, organizes a two-on-one situation with huge free zones and five opponents far behind the ball line due to his successful actions. This moment perfectly characterizes Mudrik as a football player, courage, willingness to take risks for greater games and performance skills. That's why Mihailo made his debut for the senior national team of Ukraine in the World Cup playoffs semi-final match against Scotland. It would seem that this is the most important match, his debut and the pressure, but Mudrik doesn't get lost. And in one of the episodes, he does this masterpiece pass with the outside of the foot. And you can see such things in the guy's game very often. And how do you like his goal against Ajax in the preseason training camp? He receives the ball on the wing in his half of the pitch and does his magic. Opponents can neither catch up nor steam him. As a result, a perfect solo goal against a famous opponent. Brilliant! But, of course, it was after his performance in the Champions League match day one game against Leipzig that people really started talking about him. Shakhtar defeated the Germans for one, and Mihailo scored a goal and provided two assists. And this is in a situation where almost all the foreigners left the club and it seemed that the team had no place to be in this tournament, mind you. Last summer, Mudrik was on the verge of moving to Bayer or Brentford. Arsenal and Nice also expressed interest. But Shakhtar's bosses didn't want to let the player go, and now we understand why. There's a new potential star around. If you look at what Mihailo Mudrik did tonight, you'll understand why Shakhtar Donetsk refused 30 and 35 million euro bets last week. Quality, pace, goal, assists, he's considered a top, top talent. And so that's why Shakhtar wanted more than 50 million euros. Fabrizio Romano wrote after the match against Leipzig, and it's hard to disagree with him. For Mudrik, only sky's the limit. And now it will be much more interesting to find out how his career will develop. In a recent interview with CBS sport journalist Ben Jacobs, Mihailo said, My dream is to play in the Premier League, of course. Arsenal is a very good team, very good manager. So from my side, I can't say no to Arsenal. But a transfer is not just up to my decision. Well, we look forward to how things will develop and wish Mudrik to show his best in the remaining Champions League matches. Tell us in which European club you would like to see the guy in down the comments below. That's it for this episode. Stay safe and we'll see you very soon.